Hey Sparks, what's up? And hello to my new viewers. It's Montina here. My mission with this channel is to inspire, educate, and share information that will help you thrive in life and thrive in love. If that sounds good to you, subscribe. So in this video, we're going to talk about, I got my notes here, love, affection, and attention. Now I actually put something up on my community tab and some people was going in a little bit and I understand why. My Superman and I went out to, we go, it's kind of like a hole in a wall. I want to call it a club or lounge, but it's like, <laughs> it's like people when they probably 30s 40s and i mean i've seen people i think was in their 70s so it's a little bit of everybody so at this particular place i just started to look around and noticed how there were many women in there that were not showing their dates affection now you know if somebody's there with their date versus somebody's like well maybe that's their brother they you know, coworker. I mean, you know, you know, as a woman, you kind of know how a woman looks at another woman or talking or things like that. Okay. So these, these, I, I believe they were not relatives or just coworkers. Okay. So I just looked around and when I'm with my Superman, and when I talk about public displays of affection, we're not, you know, boom, boom, kissing and things like that, but I might stand really close to him. I might rub his back. I might touch his arm and shoulder um, in some way shape or form you know that's my man okay and I heard Kevin Samuels actually speaking about this once on his one of his episodes I've been listening to a lot of his um, videos so when I run across it of course I will screen record it and share it but the reason I thought about this there were two reasons why one there's a book called are you still a slave and this is specifically for American descendants of slave owners and I am, or slavery, some people say slave owner, excuse me, American descendants of slaves or American descendants of slavery. And I call us ADOS, but those that are American descendants of slave owners, that's why you heard me say that, because there's both here in the North America. But in this book, um, Shahabrazad Ali has questions, and I, and I highly recommend it. If you're an American descendant of slavery, you want to understand why there's just some things in your life you don't understand about traumas, funerals. Um, maybe you're like me, you can't stand your feet to touch the ground and you've always thought that was kind of weird and why I always wear house shoes in the home, always. You'll understand about some traumas in this book. So anyways, one of the things she talks about is how she has a question and then she has a true or false. So the question in it was, sometimes in my relationships I have a problem showing non-sexual affection to my mate because I'm so busy, I often don't have time to hug or embrace my loved ones. And here she was talking about how slaves were not allowed to touch, show affection, or demonstrate any type of caring relationship to other slaves while inside of the master or any of his white workers or overseers. And she has a whole, a uh, few paragraphs about this. It made me think because I'm going to share a video. I watch all kind of manosphere videos. And when I say all kind of manosphere videos, all kind of manosphere videos, I want to understand how men think. I want to know what they say. I want to know what they talk about. I want to make my marriage last forever. Um, and there's just some things that I feel like I gain just from listening to these men and reading the comments. Golly, Woo! are you single out here? Wow. I, I mean, it's like the wild, wild west. But with that said, when I shared this video, this particular gentleman was talking about how black women, specifically black women, lack in the areas of showing love, affection, and attention. And I thought, wow, I've heard this before. I heard Kevin mention it. I read it in the book. And I noticed that at one point in time, physical touch was not my primary love language. It was words of affirmation. And I've noticed how over the past year, it has shifted where physical touch, like when my Superman comes in, we hug every day, we kiss every day. I want to be close to him. I mean, I might walk past him. I might just touch his butt. So I'm like, you know, being silly, but I just, I just crave physical touch and I, and it's actually shifted. And I was like, wow, I have noticed how this has shifted in my life. So again, when I'm sharing things, it is not to be combative. It is not to discourage you. I want to see those of you that want to be married, married. I want you to experience heaven on earth. My wedding theme is heaven on earth. I have never been so just in awe, respected a man, admired a man, appreciated a man, loved a man the way I do with my Superman. 
And I want that for you. There are masculine energy provider, protector, producer men out here where you won't have a care in the world that will cherish you and adore you and treat you like a goddess. So I want you to experience that. I have been sharing on YouTube since 2009 for my new viewers. Hey, I don't know how you got over my, my channel, but welcome. You're welcome here. Um, I share sometimes about my hair. This is my hair. Um, but I want this for you. And I don't want you to experience at my age, like one and I'll be 45. I want you to experience this as a younger woman. But for my women over 40, I actually am gonna do a video. I have some light still left in the day about um we're gonna talk about sex because I think some of y'all need to hear. But anyways, listen to this video, I'll be right back. So again, as a man, we really want that affection. We really want that attention. We want that connection. We really want that bond. But you can't have it. Nah, 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 nah. Not with the B-dub. So what do many of us do? We travel. We date out. Because men are really looking for an emotional connection. Again, most guys won't admit that. Let Black Ram 313 be the first guy to tell you, the first guy to admit it, because there's no lying in therapy. And I don't have an ego like that. I don't care what dude thinks about me. I don't care if you think that's a beta ideology. I'm Sigma, by the way. There's no beta in me. But I'm just real with myself. I'm going to keep it real with you. And a lot of guys are afraid to admit that that's what we really want. Love, affection, attention. But you cannot get that. And it's difficult to get it from Mei Ling, Caitlin, and Mary Saul. In America, in the UK, that Western mindset. But it's not really like that when you go to South America. It's really not like that when you go to Southeast Asia. So I hear. And for somebody who's been to Brazil, I can attest to that. So just want to provoke some thought. The BW lacks affection not all again i've had some that were very affectionate but by and large affection is lacking see so what just me just putting stuff up there about masculine energy feminine i'm talking about what men talk about i'm gonna do another video because um i believe in taking advice from men i know us as women can give each other advice but quite frankly i think we cheer each other on so much that we have normalized you know bad behaviors with women that we would have called out years ago and i think that we're not doing enough to help women understand like hey sis what you're doing is not acceptable hey sis you know can you maybe get in the gym a little bit more hey sis you know those that those, that outfit doesn't flatter um your figure now these are things i would say to my friends I, if i don't know you i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say that to you um you know <sighs> You know, I've heard instances where some women put on so much makeup, you can't tell if they're a man or a woman. Um, I think in some instances, even, you know, with um, just things look very different. <laughs> and it's funny because I told my Superman the other day, I said, you know, it's been a long time since I've seen a prostitute. Now, I don't know why I'm seeing my prostitutes, but like years, like I have not seen a real prostitute since I was about 12, 13 years old, and they used to be up and down the block where I used to live. I mean, real prostitutes, like in their dresses and their heels and stuff like that. Have I seen them in New York? I don't know. But my point of it is, I don't want you looking like a prostitute, but I'm saying that I think, and I'm gonna share a video from Kendra G, because this woman was hilarious. I thought she was super funny. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I think some, you know, a man would love her. And a man was like, no, that's how women think. So that's what I'm saying. We can give each other advice. But I think that we really need to understand if men say they want fit women, men want fit women. And some of y'all like, well, what if they look like this and that? It's not me saying it, sis. Okay, I got my ring, I earned it. Okay, I'm going into my marriage, I'm good over here. I'm just sharing because I want you to experience heaven on earth. I don't want you to grow old and be alone if you don't want to, if that's not what you want for your life. So be honest with yourself, okay? So tell me what brought you here and what's going to keep you coming back and who's going to be the spark to ignite the conversation. I really want to know what you think below and I'm going to leave a link over to the original video. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.